Okay, so we got the master cylinder bled. Now we want to go ahead and put the portioning proportion belt together with its um, brackets and all of its bolts. All right, so put this guy together. There's we go. Like that. And this guy, it goes this way on top. Okay, so the inlet and the outlet is in the back. Okay. So what we want to do is get our washers. There we go. And then we have our spacers that oh, I'm sorry this then our spacers okay that goes on here and then our nuts These look like seven eighths. Make sure I get it good because I don't want to go back into the car later on and then try to tighten them up because it got loose. There we go. So inlet, outlets in the back, and there's a proportioning valve. So we increase is clockwise, decrease is counterclockwise. There we go. All right. Okay, so for the push part on the master cylinder, it's adjustable. So what I want to do is put a little bit of grease on here. Just a little bit. There we go. And that is it. Look at that. Perfect. What I'm going to do is screw it in all the way. So that way I can adjust it out as I need. I think that's as far as it goes. So, with the nut, I'm gonna push it in. There we go. So now once I insert this, then I can adjust this to come out, right? Okay. So go all the way, alrighty. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get the master cylinder out next. Uh, basically, first we just need to take off these two lines, and then loosen the two back bolts over here. So let's see what size those guys are. I already broke it free, so I don't need to use the line wrench anymore. There's one. Now the other is with the five eighths. Let's see. Yeah, it's the five eighths. Okay, so now, gotta get those other ones out of there. 
one of these old days We ain't gonna have to cry no more You see, God's gonna wipe away all our tears Okay, so I got one bolt off over here. Uh, the other bolts I gotta get right there. Um, I'm gonna have to hold, use both hands and get in there and pull that bolt out by hand and then take out the, remove the master cylinder. So it's kind of hard to get it with the camera. So let me pull that out and then we'll show our next steps. All right, so we got the old master cylinder out and here's a new master cylinder. I went ahead and just put in the push rod. Now with the push rod, this one's adjustable. And on my old one, the brake pedal was just kind of far it was pretty far out like here was the brake or the gas and then the brake pedal was probably about eh, I'd say about maybe three inches or so away from the uh, gas pedal so I went ahead and adjusted this I closed this down all the way as it can go and as you can see we're probably looking about maybe uh, maybe a half inch or so but that's all i got that's the only adjustment that i have on this guy so i tightened the nut here so that way this isn't going to go anywhere and uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this back in the car bolt it up but first what we need to do is make sure we get our proportioning valve also installed so let's go ahead and get this installed as well okay so here's the distribution box right we got it this one here is 7 16 this one is 3 8 right there that one's 3 8 and we got to get the bottom ones off as well so that way we can hook up the master cylinder and the proportioning proportioning valve okay to set up the lines here we go we have the proportioning valve here now on this guy here we have the outlet and the inlet the outlet is all the way to the back. The inlet is in the middle. Okay, so it's going to be set up this way onto the firewall. It's gonna be like this. Now, this outlet here, which is going to be on the bottom, right? It's gonna be underneath the, um, the master cylinder. Now this guy, the line needs to come out of here and it needs to go into the other line that uh, goes into the proportioning block or the distribution block okay so the distribution block is is the block here it's gonna have two on the bottom two on the top you t disconnect the two on the top because that goes into master cylinder and then the bottom ones the one all the way to the back is the rear so we take that off and then we put from the out here it goes out and goes into that guy okay so let's go jump in the car and I'll show you. Okay, so here's the distribution block. Now, I already disconnected that bottom line. You can see right there, right? I disconnected that bottom line, right? That goes to the back. And I disconnected the two on the top. Now the two on the top, again, go into the master cylinder. The one on the bottom here, that one is gonna go into the proportioning valve on the out. Okay? So that's how, that's how that works. Now the in on the proportioning valve is gonna go into the distribution block. Okay, so here's the in. Now this in goes into the distribution block on the bottom. So in goes into the distrib distribution block, out goes into the line going to the back of the rear of the tires. That used to go into the distribution block in the back. So that's how this guy hooks in. Uh, is gets gets installed now I had to look that up that's not in the instructions so so far really that's the only thing so far um, out of the CSRP kit that uh, I have a little beef with it didn't have a good district um, description so let me see if I can mock up the lines in the in the car because um, it's a little tough to get get that done with the camera but um we'll catch you catch you in a bit okay so I got all this installed uh, let's just go through the lines. So we have the rear reservoir, front reservoir. On the rear reservoir, 
On the line, it's the long one. On the back, it's the short line. They're flexible, okay? So the front one goes to the back on the distribution block, and the back one goes to the front. Um, I got them all installed. Now, underneath, it's got the proportioning valve, and I already explained how that goes together. And I would say the best way to get this done, so before you install the master cylinder, install the bottom line on the distribution block and the back line on the proportioning valve. Then install it, then do the, um, the this guy here, which is the back of the proportion, or the front of the proportioning valve to the rear brakes and then the back of the proportioning valve, proportioning valve, install that next that came from the distribution block. After that, then put your two lines in here up top. So that's my tip of the day on how to install those guys. And just because it was a booger, just to get them all installed. But I got them, of course, don't over tighten, just go about a quarter of an inch after it, it hits the seat. Make sure you don't strip them and make sure that they're flush when they um, hit the line inside, okay? The flare on the inside of the line sits on the connection and then twist the nut so that way that goes hand tighten first and then tighten a quarter after it hits the seat, okay? So that's how to get that guy in there. So, so far we're good. We got the master cylinder in, it's already bled. We got all the lines in. The uh, uh, brake pedal is installed um, with the push rod. We're good with that. And uh, I think we're ready to leave the brakes now. So on to the next video. Mm -hmm.